Interesting. Now, I haven't really played on the new Berg very much. I played a couple of games uh, a few patches ago. I think it's a, definitely a fun map, I think. Um, I think it's kind of a little snowball-y, though. Yeah. You get behind a little bit, it's very hard to get back. Um, probably the, one of the best locations on this map is at your opponent's base, so like, wall here. And then you can just get all this metal, and then it's very hard to make this to have this person kind of be able to branch out. Mm. Very strong strategy on this map. That wall up. So both players opening with bots. Following it up with air factories from Zaphis and Mothra, which is quite good. I, I imagine we'll probably see early pelicans to try and grab the rear metal. I mean, sometimes you can even aggressively expand to your opponent's rear metal if they haven't gone there themselves and then set up a base to prevent them getting it and make life really quite difficult for them in that regard. be a very interesting strategy to see. It would be that much on this map, so... I think pelican drops are pretty new. Um, I don't think people necessarily know exactly how to use them to their full potential yet, so I hope hopefully we'll see some of that in this game. Hmm. That first scout coming out here from Mothra. Probably just going to be a suicide scout. And the first bomber coming out from Zaffy's. He's hoping to do some early damage, I guess. So is Mothra as well. Both trying to take each other's fabbers out. I need just Mothra to save the scout. Oh, maybe yeah, not. Yeah, there it goes now. <laughs> that thing is really squishy. I'm surprised. coming out from Zaffy's. We don't see a second bot factory gone straight onto vehicles. What do you think about that? Because there's this huge area over here that bots are prime raiders for, and there's a lot of metal to grab over there. Do you reckon one bot factory is enough to produce uh, the right amount of docks to keep a tab on that region? Um, I think for now, yes. Um, and he can just kind of get tanks and take more position of the map, and then maybe later on if he needs more bot factories, or if he starts expanding over here, then I, like, I also like to add them, add them on later. Most people just make back bot factories in the beginning, and then Never go back to them, but I think it's it's pretty good to make some late game when there's a lot of space that your opponent has and then find some use out of them. Yeah. Fabricator's coming out again from Zaphis to replenish the one he lost, try and get up that P gen. He's doing okay on power for now though, but I think once he starts to produce a lot of these vehicles he's gonna start struggling. Um, and purple is just keeps keeps taking metal. They're both both players have not been hindered yet in their metal expansion mm. so far. Thing is now Mothra has the three interceptor clump advantage right now. Although Zaphis can clump all of his together to make a, a large pack, which is going to do quite a good amount. But when you've got three going on a single one like that, they do tend to landslide a little bit. The bomber was taken out there, so that was good for Zaphis. Does buy him a little bit of time, but the pelican is out. Wonder what it's going to pick up. Probably a fabricator. Indeed. This coming out. We'll see where he takes it, where he decides the best place for it to be is. <laughs> Another bomber squadron coming out. Actually take these. I don't know if these fighters are going to be able to prevent this bomber. No. I think he might get two kills out of it. One. And... Got no other defense, so... Dodges that one, but I think it will go down eventually. Yeah, there it goes. So, but he does. He did Pelican drop the Faber back here. He just needs to get up some AA now that he knows that uh, Mothra is being heavy on the bombers. I'm surprised he went for mechs first, given those bombers are uh, doing a lot of harassing. Because if he does lose that Faber before he takes all of those metal and sets up some defense, I personally feel as though it would have been a, a wasted expansion because it's only going to be an easy target to take out later on. Uh, even Zaffis doesn't really doesn't have much anti-air. He only has one air factory. He hasn't been making any anti-airs out of his vehicle factories, so mm. he does lose the air game, which Mothra does have two air factories to uh, Zaffis one. Yeah. And Mothra's now getting up the vehicle factory count as well, so it's four aside with two air factories additional. So, yeah, Mothra is doing better in the production right now, but uh, the eco is still relatively... Relatively even. I mean, Zaphis has just a little bit more power, but he's not utilizing all of it because he's floating both ends. And his commander's sitting there idle as well, which really isn't good for him. He could probably afford to put up maybe one or uh, one or two extra factories without really investing too much in the power. But the bomber's coming over now, seeing that there's a real lack of AA. They can get a lot of kills. 
Yeah, and Mothra's already taken out these two back uh, metals here, and oh, the Night Scout didn't finish the uh, the anti air, so scouts these three mexes, it will be pretty easy. Yeah, I'm with his so, dogs. Although, so with the with the air here, he should horse. Very low eco game. Both players still tied in eco. I'm surprised Zaphis hasn't decided to push out with his tanks yet. I mean, if he gets up uh, a slight spinner ratio in there, he'll be able to make quite a dent with those tanks along that side because there's only docks and bombers to defend against it, hence why he needs the AA. And all Mothra will be able to do is respond with uh, some early walls to defend, although he is beginning to get up his tank force now in his base. So the window for that is closing as well, hence why the air game is so important at this point. A lot of units in his base there. Uh, meanwhile, though, Zephys is taking the back of this planet, trying to take the metal back there, so... If Mothra doesn't keep scouting, he will eventually fall behind, because he's... Mothra's really not, not a, trying to expand that much right now. Yeah, it's surprising. Mothra never really does that. He tends to like turtling up a bit and then going for snipes. Um, as far as I can see, back when back in beta, he just used to sit up and turtle with air until he had, you know, the ability to snipe outright. Uh, but I think he's going to struggle a little bit so far in this game. He doesn't seem to be investing too heavily in it just yet. And now the spinners are coming out as well from Zaphis, which is going to provide a little bit of a backbone to this force here. The big tank force coming out of Mothra, and he's got uh, some bomber support to go with it, so, mm. so he's going to fly into these anti-air. Yeah, He'll but... definitely win that. But... Uh, some more harass going on here. Zephys takes out two more metal of, of Mothra's. Zephys is pretty far ahead on income now, actually. Yeah, that expansion around the back is, is really helping him, and he has the power to, to really put up a few more factories. And there we go, popping up with two more air factories around the side, getting up a lot of AA as well there, so that's going to really help him uh, take out Mothra's bombers. This is where Mothra really needs to start to expand. He's sort of sitting in his base, happily producing what he has, and currently Zaphis can sort of pull back a little bit, consolidate his numbers against this tank force, take minimal losses as a result, and then push in because Mothra hasn't really built anything up to to deal with it. Although I think Zaphis might need to put up some walls with his commander over there because it looks rather out in the open and there's yeah, a sizable force. Very, it looks very vulnerable here. <laughs> um, and even Mothra hasn't really been using his I respect the decision to try to use the commander, but uh oh, he just keeps going forward, and this yeah. is a really bad position here. As soon as he sees these forces coming in, I suspect he'll probably transition to uh, to build Gotta a few move walls. Back. Uh -oh. Yeah. He's, oh, he's going forward. He's going forward. Good Uber Cannon takes what? out the docks, but he's taking a lot of hits here. Yeah, if he a just lot of focuses hits. them, he'll be able to finish it off. Because there's no bombers to come in, there's no docks to come in. Oh, he needs to put up some walls. Oh, that was a good Uber Cannon. That might just save him. But he needs uh, to get behind the CSGs. Oh, he gets another Uber Cannon off. Oh my goodness Dead. me. Six <laughs> percent. He lives. All right. And he knows that Mothra will oh, try and bomber snipe him. Oh, this here's is where the AA. Bombers. Can he get the AA up in time? I think he might just about have it with the prioritization. Uh, oh. It's three, two. Oh no. Yeah, four percent. Four percent. Three percent. He needs AA up Still, now. <laughs> More AA, Zephyrus. More AA. Although yeah. now I think he realizes he probably has the unit numbers advantage as we look in the army tab there, 86 to 51, going up to 90 to 50. So he's really got the unit advantage and he has the eco advantage plus factories. So I think if he keeps his commander safe here, he can uh, really make a dent into Mothra's base, who really hasn't been doing very much of those commanders himself is now building up walls over there. But Yeah, that oh. was definitely kind of an, an all-in move there from <laughs> Mothra, so he's really got to... There's a follow-up push, though. Yeah, yeah. If he can, hold this... this, he might just have to run his commander away. Really, as yeah. soon as he sees this, he should probably just run away. Yeah, I think that would probably be the best thing because he won't be able to get his units over there in time to be able to defend because they're all on the other side. I think on the units over here need to make a push to dent in uh, yeah. those power gens, and the stuff at this side just needs to wall in and run away. <clears throat> 
I didn't see if this is coming. moving backwards. I think uh, he should back off in time for these other tanks to yeah. force him. Yeah, well, he only yeah. needs a couple more shots and he will die, but I think he will. Yeah, I think there's away. probably about six tank shots and he's he's out of there. But there's, there's definitely ample defense there now, and the commander can wall in. But the problem is for Mothra now, most of his units are not in his base, although he does have those tank factories, six of them now actually, producing a reasonably steady stream of units because he isn't, he isn't stalling. Uh, Zaphis just needs to start getting up his production even more so. And uh, Once he realises he wins the air game back, I wouldn't be surprised to see a transition into bombers because Mothra is not building spinners. Yep. Oh dear. He really wants to still keep going for that snipe. He might still be able to get it. I mean, the uh, commander's still at 3%. He's kind of moved away from his uh, anti-air. If... Mm. Um, maybe if he gets the right angle, he might even be able to get couple bomber runs in there and that's really all you need, just bomb drops and dead. Yeah, he has got five bombers now. Make that a sixth in a matter of seconds. Oh, it's 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 gonna be close. He just needs to dodge Zaphis's air because he has quite a lot of air units there, twenty five uh, and increasing. Gotta move away. There yeah. you go, and he is moving his air force away a little bit. Maybe he's trying to find a way around. Zaphis doesn't have radar coverage of that, oh. so he does not see it. He does not see it. Plane scout it. Is... Nope, it misses. I'm going from Zaphis's view here as well. And all of his air is in the wrong place. I... Oh. Will fly over. No, he's he's choosing a very smart... Well, Convoluted path. Oh, it's going to be very, very close. He was not oh, going to get the A back in time. Scouting? Oh no, dear. He's oh no! Uh -oh, uh -oh. He's mismicroing a little bit and he's not committed, so he's given away the surprise. Oh dear. But his, the air is still out of position, so. It is. Just go, just go for the. There you go, oh, he's going in. No, he's it's not going to make it. it. No. Oh, no. No pass. <laughs> no. He really just needed like one bomber to, to drop their bombs on the commander, and I think he. Yeah. But. But here comes again, another push. So close. I, I don't know why Mothra's coming in with another push already, because it's just going to meet a whole swarm of AA, and as soon as Zaphis notices this, he should chase it down. But he is making a forward staging post, which I quite like. But the thing is, Mothra has... He knows that he just needs to catch the commander out in the open. However, he's going to start to realise that he's really losing the ground game as a result, and because he doesn't have the sufficient hummingbird population to do the sniping... I think he really needs to focus on getting his tank production up because right now the army tab is not looking real in his favor. 135 to 80. And the tanks are just going to roll in now. Kind of sacrifice this entire force to the to the yellow tanks over here. And he hasn't even really scouted the back of the planet yet. So yeah. he's gone unopposed. <laughs> That entire side of the planet. I'm surprised Zephyrus hasn't started putting up some factories over at this side. That would be quite a good place to put up a few uh, latent factories that just produce a, like, for example, just a few bot factories that just end up producing a massive swarm of boom bots and just wreck the power. But uh, these tanks now are getting in really, really quite close, and they got some good hummingbird escort as well, and. Zaphis is using the rest of his hummingbirds to guard his commander, so he's not going to get a bomber snipe easily. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be difficult if he can like sneak on the on the edge of this crack here. He might even be able to shoot over it if he's <laughs> kind of a long shot. He is losing uh, losing factories over here. Yeah. And once he's lost these factories, if Mothra doesn't rebuild them, uh, he'll probably end up losing the game because he's lost the air game. And if he doesn't keep up with his tank production, Zaphis is just going to be able to keep rolling tanks in. And oh, there's the air trade. Uh, oh dear, the bombers get through. Can they? No way. No way. Bunch of anti-air. I wouldn't be surprised if we see the GGs called momentarily because... He's going to try, he's gonna try the snipe I was talking about. Oh might... dear. I don't think... No. If he's not paying attention, he might be able to shoot over that. <laughs> I think the P-Gens might just defend him. Oh, there yeah, we go. Then the commander's ah, running away. Go. He's seen it. He just needs to navigate all of his units back there now. And he's even going into orbital. You know you're you're in a safe space when you're going to orbital. Unless, of course, you have misjudged the situation. <laughs> but yeah, he's moving all of his tanks back. He should be alright. Yeah. I don't even know if he knows exactly where the commander is. Because he's... He... 
I don't know. I think he's just doing an all in now. And when he loses this tank blob, the GGs yeah. have have no right to not have been called by that point. <clears throat> Buy some bombers in again. Because what what can this commander really do on his own now from Mothra? I mean, once he's lost this tank force, it's just a case of chasing the commander down. And Zaphis has a significant air presence now that he can just area patrol the whole planet and find the commander within seconds. Although the tank's getting stuck on factories. Yeah, I was say, right? <laughs> the path thing here might too. be the Achilles heel. Bench, yeah, I think he will take him. Will win. <laughs> With 3% health for most of the game. <laughs> MVP 3%. <Will> <laughs> this game is officially over. I hope he'll delete his commander. Yeah. I don't even think we need to wait for it, to be honest. I don't think. He's even going to be able to pull it back. Unless, of course, Zaphis just decides to sit in his base and not do anything and let Mothra build up. But this is a foregone conclusion now. Yeah, we found, he found the commander. He's going in for the... send all of his tanks in that direction, and then he can just go make himself a sandwich. Yeah. We'll win this game. Good old BLT with the sunset. I don't know, I think Mothra's just going to end up Rambo coming in, although the pathing isn't going in his favour there because he's got a crevasse to walk around, but... And there it goes. Yeah. GG.